Now, I just wanted to do one quick video on this a car hunt for the Porsche 911 GT1 Evolution. And this was a car that was useful previously in the Porsche season. And yeah, that event made it very, very difficult to unlock. But I would just say for anyone who's freshly unlocking this car, yeah, keep in mind, this is one that um, has a couple of uses as support cars in events down the road. So it's not bad to unlock it right now. But I would just say definitely take a spin around the track before you go like spending all of the credits into trying to upgrade this one because it is quite a costly upgrade, but it's not exactly a blistering car. So just keep in mind that it does cost around 7 million credits to get it from the zero stars unlocked, tuned all the way up to four stars max. Now, I'm just missing a couple of blueprints from mine. I would just say if you were going to be doing that thing where you like unlock all the blueprints for it using the other cars, and then, you know, tuning it all the way up for that riot to do a good time in it. Maybe just take a drive in it first before you actually start spending those 7 million or so credits. Because it's definitely a car that's um, rather difficult. And like, yeah, it's great to have it. Obviously, get as many blueprints as you possibly can with this and all car hunts. If you ever can get a car, yeah, go for it uh, when there's free blueprints available. But yeah, definitely, this is one that like, in terms of actually driving it on the track um, in the Riot event, uh, for a newer driver, you might have really, really bad difficulty with this one because it's definitely, it ain't a fun kind of drive. But I said I do a run through in say like Ford GT is the one of the two um, cars which offers a blueprint from this one. And yeah, like this is the pathway that I take for this. And then I'll show kind of what I was doing for them. And yeah, like again, it is just a case of it's a cool car and I would never pass up on a blueprint in this game. But definitely um, just before you spend a lot on chewing it up, just remember seven million credits in to tune that thing up and yeah like it doesn't get amazing all through the first one two and three stars anyway it didn't change too much the fact that it's a very very weird and bad handling car more or less like it is just a four star b class car so definitely not exactly amazing kind of handles similar actually to this ford gt where it's just general difficulty on tracks and difficulty with corners but yeah just throwing this thing around here and what is it 45 seconds i think or so required in the support cars for this so the cadillac scene concept and the ford gt boat handle really similarly but i'm just farming out the um blueprints to max out mine 20 or yeah 39 seconds so like you've got a few seconds leeway at least um what is it oh 44 seconds so yeah there's nearly five seconds leeway with the Ford GT, if you go up and kind of through that tunnel-y area, and just making sure not to rub off the wall too much. That's the last of my guaranteed blueprints, though. Let's see, that brings me within two of finishing this off, or within one of finishing it off, even. No, I just need one more blueprint. Now, what I was doing is for this all the time, and if you've got yourself access to, say, the Acura NSX 2017 is the one that I've been using. And this car, in touch drive, absolutely no input required whatsoever. Will get second or third place almost every single time, but will put in a time that's below the 40 seconds with zero input. So you can just use the Acura if you have access to it. Um, the Viper ACR and the H2 Speed would likely both have a good uh, chance at three packing this if you put no input whatsoever. Now. If you want to get first in the race, uh, you can on touch drive just direct the car towards the yellow nitro bottle here. So it's just pressing the right button once and then just on this back straight press right again to take this ramp up and over. And that will likely net you first place for those two inputs in, like I said, my golden Acura. I see this is the AI just sort of like, oh no, we cut out in front. You can just tap a nitro key while you're just in the um, back uh, portion of the track. But more or less, the, those two inputs should get you a few more credits just if you're running this one. A lot of times, it'll take a second. <laughs> but yeah, um, definitely, it'll, it'll be enough to um, like get all of the tree packs out of this one. Even if you let the car do the other route, it should place in a time of like 44 and a half seconds or so 
but yeah if you go right and right again just on those two options you'll get the um yeah the extra kind of like a small amount of credits just from the positional finish definitely a good ah there we go a good um car hunt to farm out though just because of the fact that yeah you obviously have eight thousand and four thousand credits in them tons of b class um import parts as well as the blue import parts and yeah there we go finish off my gt1 not a bad car again it is just a case of like yeah definitely not a car for beginners because it does not handle amazingly well looks absolutely gorgeous but really really is one of the very very low end b class cars so definitely don't be um kind of expecting amazing stuff out of it but uh, again if there's anything you can do that gives you blueprints um go for them so uh, the, the drop rate on this one is incredibly incredibly low uh doing this one casually it did take me yeah a couple of days even just to get the last i needed 50 blueprints for it and it took yeah three days or so to get those whilst doing yeah just touch drive runs with the acura considering the fact that the acura as well cools down or refuels in about a half an hour and with the legend pass it has i think it's at eight units of fuel so you can like throw that at it eight times let it refuel your tickets will fill back up halfway or so and then throw that acura at it repeatedly again so it really is a great tool to make use of for this one if you have access and that gold in the garage the final piece of advice i'd say on this one is just that thing i just did of starring it up eh, maybe not have been the brightest of ideas there episode five of the british season pass actually includes the mission star up any car and that episode five starts off in about two and a half days so i would say if you're working through this one and you have the car in a star up ready state you know where it's in the garage but it has the star up icon you can just press the b button to get the car back out of that and not actually go through the entire kind of ceremony portion of it if you be out of that and just leave the car in that star up ready state then when that quest becomes available in two days time you would be able to like just press a on it then launch the car through that ceremony and it'll complete the quest now for me i intend on like starring up at say i would think the valhalla at least one time uh, during its event so i will have a star up through that as well but had i left the car in the um star up early state like i said in two days it would become available to do the upgrade to and it would just take that mission as soon as it becomes available so like even though technically you have the blueprints that star it up long before the mission is there yeah if you just wait up see doing the missions there and then just press a and it'll complete but yeah mine's at four stars now already the <laughs> blistering rank of 2700 at max it's kind of um pretty bad but yeah if these do help you out guys hopefully give a click on that button up over my head and there's other videos for me there and there and as always drive safe in this one